tea bath um oh. well we have to save something for next time so we have something to look forward to i think right? as we're as we're leaving i just dump my mouth under and just go <gasps> and then just and then get out i'm having some mixed feelings uh that felt very invasive for um my uh water therapy that we were sort of having um oh strange right like i'm pretty weird but that felt weirder than me somehow i'm okay. dry you're wet i did that was my bad so now you're probably just like squelchy so i'm just gonna i'll let I'll, I'll leave you to it and olive's gonna just spin on her heel and like do that like speed walking shuffle and then as soon as she's around the corner she's gonna like book it and start running back to gryffindor tower where were you i had some studying i mean after potions you know i just really needed to sit down and and get some uh also i felt like maybe if more people were around rosie then it might be a bit more overwhelming for her and actually maybe it would be better as like a one-on-one -on -one. anyway how come you did you not you weren't gonna get in were you I wasn't intending to, but she seemed so nervous, and it just seemed like it might help her to um, not do it alone, you know? Like, how do you know when it's like a like-like and not a like friend-like? Oh, that's a question. Um, I don't know. Seems like it would be a lot easier if we were all just friends and the same amount of friends as everyone else is with everyone else and no one ever liked anyone and no one ever dates anyone and has to break up with them and make the group weird and we never have to worry about that because we're all just best friends the same, you know? Are you worried that Alex and I are gonna break up the group? No. Just... Just thinking. So there's... So I said I like flowers, but then I said, but I don't like flowers. My name, people sometimes... People have been saying that to me, like... Do they like the person or do they like the person? And I wasn't getting the difference until I did it just now with flowers. Like, I like flowers, but I don't like flowers. Wait, is this about you and, and Maisie? I feel Sorry? very depressed after this conversation, Alex. What do you mean, depressed? It, 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 I thought the friendship metaphor was good. Was it disappointing? Extremely. Hey, have you ever considered, um, maybe talking about the feelings that you'd refuse to talk about to, like, a therapist or something? Because it seems like maybe there's a lot of stuff you don't want to talk about. Did you say no? Mm hmm? Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> The only me? other person at the, at the table with me. Mm. Alex, are you okay? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. What does that know. mean? Uh, Alex? Uh-huh. Tomorrow... Tomorrow... Tomorrow evening... Um... Would you like to, um, would you like to come on, um, on a, on a date with me? Hello? And don't Hi. move as she sits down. I'm still just looking at Alex. Morning. Morning. Hi. Hi. Huh? Good morning. Hi. Where's everyone else? Clem. S uh, s s breakfast yoga burrito party. Cl the breakfast Clem. yoga burrito party. Oh. Clem. Uh, yeah. Clem. I give her the same yeah. look that I gave that I gave Olive and give her an elbow. Mm. Alex, do you, 
do you do you like Maisie, but you don't like like Maisie? Or I I I I, I no, um. Okay, so I'm not sure about all of this. Look, Alex, um, I think it's mm-hmm. just maybe a little bit too much um, for me to understand. Um, and I think that I probably need to go and do some... What? No, 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 no. Do some See, yoga because... No. Uh, uh, pause. Can I press pause? Pause. I'm not good at this stuff, but I want to be good at it. Can you help? One on one lessons, just me and you. Um, maybe some sandwiches and just us. Because I would like that because I like you. Well, like. like More than flowers. Like. More than Hagrid likes rock cakes, probably, I think. You like like me. Um. We can go on a date tomorrow. Do I need to? You just what need so... to be you, okay? And right. And we'll have fun. Are you eating breakfast in the rain? Yeah, they were flirting at breakfast, so I left. That's why I left too. Maisie really looked like she was about to murder me. I played, oh, did she? I left before that could happen. Yeah, no, no, I started playing this word association game and then they both started getting really sweaty. So I just decided to come out here and then I figured it was raining. So maybe I could just sit here and it could be like, I don't know, like exposure therapy or something. Oh, hi. <clears throat> hey, what are you, what are you reading? Do you want to buy this? Um, it's the she- limpest, wettest burrito you have ever seen in your life. Three, two, one, Alex. We're dating. <gasps> what? Look, I didn't really mean to make a big dramatic thing and tell you all, but we, we're gonna go on a date tomorrow. <laughs> and he said that he liked me more than flowers. <laughs> Let's do, do you that. want me to? Do you want me to make you a picnic for dinner <gasps> uh, in the in the kitchens? Oh, oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I'll just, I'll make your favorite foods. Your dad, uh, sort of looms over you. Oh, excuse me, sorry, just, I'll get a jury there. Alexander? Yep. It's me. He holds out a hand. I'm good. (laughs) I can get up on my own. I noticed that you weren't taking my class this year. Yeah. Why? Yeah, I, know, I, I, I was just looking at all my options and... You know, that, that that third elective slot, I just wasn't sure about. And um, um, I'm, I'm okay to speak to Professor Flitwick about it. And I was just I was just taking my time making a choice for my third elective is all. I just wanted to get the, 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 the feel of, um, you know, year three and then get that sorted out is all. <clears throat> right then. As Alexander walks away from his dad and the rain comes down, he heads to care for magical creatures. You see your dad making his way up the steps behind you, Alexander. 
rain coming down, sort of hitting you in the face. You've had a pretty busy day so far. Still pretty early. How do you feel as you're making your way down the steps? Just... Um, I was already um, experiencing existence rather intensely. Um, and now I'm... Now I'm experiencing it with a bad vibe in it. Um, Mm. Yeah, so I, I don't I don't feel great and that's uh, probably reflected a bit. So your dad is walking up the uh, steps and you're headed down towards class. Uh, you can see that there's uh, some people that are gathered just outside Hagrid's hut. And you can see um, students that are sort of sitting there with some uh, umbrellas and whatnot. And um, they're waiting patiently outside Hagrid's hut. You can see Barney sort of waiting. He looks over and he just waves at you casually. Hey, Barney. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Um. So, so your dad st- stop and, and see you on the stairs. Yeah. He was asking if I. Um. Well, he, he said he'd noticed I wasn't taking his class. And I had to, well, he asked why, <laughs> so. It's a bit awkward as all, you know. Right. You, you okay? Yeah, yeah, there's just a lot happening at once. What do you mean? Um, I have a date. Keep them small, Barney, in your reaction. Don't get out of hand. Calm. Shh, shh, just... We calm. Depressed, Barney. We've practiced this together many times. I know. You can see the, 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 like the words trying to form in the air mm-hmm. and he's they mm-hmm. start to get large and the, mm-hmm. he thinks about it and they shrink down uh, <laughs> I, I I I have a date I'm going to oh right with um the Maisie <laughs> Right, well, just like turn the brightness down. I don't know how it works exactly for, but yeah, that that we there was a lot. Um. Yeah. So. Happened. We were at lunch and. Um, it's not even lunchtime yet. It's still breakfast. Or breakfast. So, or, yeah, and then there was, um, Rosie was sitting down. And then I this sat down. What I get from eating breakfast. Yeah, and then Maisie sat down, and then Rosie stood up. And then. And then Olive sat down, and then she stood up, and then Clem sat down, and she stood up, and then. So I remember somewhere in between there, there was questions about things and stuff, and then I was like, okay, you can ask. I got confused and tried to narrow it down, and then and Macy just asked me if I wanted to go on a date, and I, I didn't say yes right away, and then, 
Um, she seemed like that made her unhappy, so I t got myself together and s said yes, and told her I liked her. So, so wait, wait. I just need to be clear. Yeah. You, you told her that you like her. Uh -huh. That's great, Alex. Uh -huh. It is. Good job. Barney squeezes you like a little bit. Thanks, Barney. So yeah, so it sort of so, so we're dating now. <laughs> I know, I, so cool. Am I? I'm sort of just. I think. I think Maisie's maybe the cool one. She like well, does Quidditch she's things and definitely cooler um, than you. But you're still okay. cool. I am. Yeah. Well, I guess a bit of Maisie's cool kind of counts for mine now, right? We're sort of like a package deal now, right? Or I don't know how it works. Um, is that too much? Am I? Yeah. Ting, am I? What now? Are you talking cooler? Am I? Yeah. Is it just like a, an automatic effect thing? I don't know, but I, Alex, you were going on a date before me. Oh. You couldn't even I say well. that you liked Maisie yesterday. No, oh, I didn't even know if I liked Well, I did know, but I didn't know. I didn't uh -huh. know. You didn't know. But I didn't. But I did. Okay, so here's how it is. So I had, the, the, um, um, there was the way that I saw and see everything. And then there's the way that other people see things. And how we talk about what we see is, it's like everyone else was speaking a different language and it just took me a little while to learn it. Oh, so I learned it a little bit, and I was, I said, haha, bon, bonjour. Is that what you said to Maisie? No, 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 that was, uh, t Did you say, was just oh, going bonjour? On. No, 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 I don't really speak Spanish, so. <laughs> right. <clears throat> but yeah. Hey. So does everybody know? Does, does... Uh, well, you're the first person I told. Him. Obviously, it's a secret. Oh, okay. Why? I, know, I think. Do you mean I don't... A secret from Swarth or a secret from everyone? I don't. I really don't. I think I'm just gonna let Maisie decide. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, she's better at the kind of that that stuff. So I'm gonna just she she's just told me to be me, and then things will be great. So I'm gonna just try and do that, whatever that means. So, do you have a plan? No. Mm, we have a plan? Do I need to have a separate plan? Well, I mean, like... Do, well, I don't know. That's a good question, I guess. Do you... Do you... Do, did you come up with a place to go? Did Maisie? We... 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 we um... Yeah, we, we like that spot... Um... Over by the bridge. Uh, the viaduct. Where you can look out over the water and across the Hogsmeade. It's a nice view. But there's no benches there or anything, right? And we were trying to figure if we had somewhere nice to sit. Well, the bench... Uh, yeah. What about if it keeps raining? Huh. I don't know. Maybe you'll think of something, probably. <laughs> Spain. Because I can come up with ideas, but they're going to be probably not good for dates, because I don't know. I don't think we have a restaurant here. 
So, well, and... We have... We have permission to go to Hogsmeade soon. Well, I, I... Wait, no. I think that's not till December. It will, and it will... We'll figure something out. Maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just find a quiet spot in one of the towers and just set up use the window cell as a little table or something and sit in the stairs that's but that's not a date I can't we can't sit on stairs on a date right I need to well, that's I bad I don't know what about I mean, most of the time stairs aren't you know fit. what you're gonna talk about you can't talk about sandwiches the whole time Alex I see I never really know what I'm talking about I just kind of start talking and it happens and Right. Maybe... Maybe you should think of some things? Um, I... I Quidditch, I should probably... I, I should probably... Well, you're gonna have to study Quidditch. I have to study Quidditch? Who do? Who else do we know that's super into Quidditch? Do we know any, like, Quidditch prop... Like, people who know as much about Quidditch as... I don't know, you know about the speaking spells or something. Yeah, we know a lot of people that know a lot about Quidditch, aside from Maisie. Right, but, we, but someone we can trust, and someone who is um, uh, b b b the best. We want the best Quidditch expert, because I need to be best prepared. Because then if I'm not, what if, what if, what if... My Quidditch knowledge isn't good enough, and she starts reconsidering, and when then she's not, we're not dating anymore. But then she doesn't want to be my friend either. And then if Swarf have to choose between her and me, I think Phil choose her. And then what am I going to do? Are you going to still be my friend? Do you have to choose between me and the rest of Swarf? And I, I, I'm not going to tell you who I think you should choose or anything. But then, like, if it came to that, and now you I know why I haven't asked Rosie out yet. Rosie. We have to ask Rosie out. Or just hang around long enough and I think she asks you out. Like, that's what happened with me and Maisie. And just... I could what? ask her. Would you ask... you? When are you asking, Rosie? No, I don't know. Do you want me to help no. you? No. I, I've, I've got... I'm, I, I have a date. I'm clearly good at this now. Didn't Maisie ask you something? Uh, yes. Uh, you had to do me saying yes. That's well, I had to do more than that. There was a lot of processing happening. But for you, 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 you. Well, what? No. You'll have to. Huh. What if I, what if I, you were going to, to find out things for me, what if I find out things for you? Like what? Well, like if Rosie likes you back. Okay, but how are you going to find out? I'll probably just ask her who she likes and she'll okay. tell me. That's kind of the road um, to me, Rosie. Maybe does things. we... No, I, what if mm. I just say, who do you like? And then she'll say... A person, and if that name's yours, then good. And then if not, I'll wait a little bit and keep saying I haven't asked her yet, and then eventually tell you when I work up the courage, and then you'll have to figure out something else. I can see why you haven't asked. That's okay. Wow. Listen, just don't don't ask her right out. I won't. But, I promise but, I won't. Yeah, don't 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 say anything. I'm going to have to say something because I'll be looking at her thinking, "Oh, that's 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 Rosie and and, and Barney likes her and she's great and 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 they're both my friends and I want to help and I, they'll notice something's up, Barney. They'll know that there's something. That's okay. I can cover it up. I can just say it's the Maisie dating thing and they'll know. But Maisie will know that it's not that. So how do I avoid Maisie from finding it? And then I'll have to tell Maisie because we're dating now and if I keep something from her when we're dating, then she'll break up and we won't be dating and then we won't be friends and then that whole thing starts <sighs> again, Barney. Wow. 
Why is being a teenager so hard? I, I, um, I don't know. It wasn't in the books that I read that were mostly about magical pathway development and then other physiological developments and practice and technique and how those are important in developing blah 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 what are we gonna do? I don't know. Probably throw up. That's not a good idea, probably. Or do you know what, do you know, Barney? Just, just do you know what? I am. Do you know what? I I'm cool now and dating and stuff. So like um. Do you know what? I got this. Don't worry. I I <clears throat> I got you, bro. Uh, oh. And I I'll talk. And you know it will all be cool. It'll be. So let bro. Um. You're saying bro a lot. Is that, is that not is that not cool? I don't think so. Okay, I can choose something different. Um, but yeah, I'll don't worry. This is you're in good hands, Barney. Um. I'll I'll I will. I've got this. Right. Mhm. Don't worry, Link. You're my like. You're the. I've, you're the best. You're my best best friend, and 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 Rosie's also my best friend. But you're my, like you're my Ravenclaw best friend, and we're in the same house, so it counts a little more. But. Is it? Well, yeah. Well, I think yeah, and not not more than Maisie though, right? Yeah, obviously, because then we'd be dating, <laughs> and we're not. I'm dating Maisie. Yes, um, you are. And you will soon be dating Rosie, because I like you as a friend, and I like Rosie. I think you're both awesome. You both think I'm awesome, right? You said I was cool, even. So if I, if if there's all, the, then the other between you two, it works because it's like this. It's. Like a Pythagorean A squared, B squared, C squared, she likes you. I think when the C squared is, she nice. probably likes you too. What are you talking about? I'm trying to do trigonometry with relationships. Does that not are work? Are you even taking arithmancy? No, I, th- I thought about it. Would that help with relationships? Maybe I should take it. I need to speak to Professor Flitwick still about picking up my third elective, so... As you and Barney continue your awkward conversation, Hagrid um, is making his way out of the hut. Students very wet in the rain. He uh, takes out a very oversized patched pink umbrella and puts it up. Oh, um, hello there. Uh, Welcome to class, everyone. Hi. Professor. Uh, good morning, good morning. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, I hope everyone's excited for uh, Care of Magical Creatures today. Um, <clears throat> we, um, we've been spending uh, the last class talking about the Spry Bat. Um, does everyone have an umbrella, by the way? Is everyone all right? And bring an umbrella, Barney. Do you have an umbrella? Yeah, you can share mine. Thank you. Thanks. So, <sighs> we've been speaking about the spry part, and although yesterday it was a bit unfortunate that we lost track of the one that we found in the clearing there, um, <clears throat> we, um, we did get the opportunity to see what happens when they fly. Did anyone notice anything strange when they fly? <gasps> oh, uh, for a uh, uh, Yes, the- m- Mr. Uh, Pippin. 
the the shells they bob funny they kind of hang and bob funny well that's right they do in fact have shells and they sort of they bob when they fly um <clears throat> when they fly um <clears throat> the spry bat uh does in fact sort of uh have to keep picking up its shell when it flies um the shell uh makes a um from from what we understand a very uncomfortable uh sensation in the spry bat when it flies and that's why it sort of looks uh funny um however uh because of their shell uh, spry bats can exactly fly very far uh usually they can only fly um within a small distance away from where they previously uh were hanging so if you look at the migration patterns of the spry bat and and hagrid continues on with a lecture about the spry bats in the rain we switch scenes while barney and alex were having a conversation about the situation that has recently presented itself i would like to know what's going on with the gryffindor students uh who um mm, let's see gryffindor gryffindors uh uh, well, actually, Gryffindors are the ones that should be having care of magical creatures this early. Well, that's awkward. Wow. <laughs> we can't I'm retcon it. Belief. Can't yeah. retcon it. Yeah, that, that's just going to be horrible. Are you um, sure? Because I, I'm pretty sure we just had it, right? Didn't we have lunch? Didn't I, I get poop? On Olive? We're professional you tabletop did. players, The Gryffindors the did. <laughs> the Gryffindors, but not the Ravenclaws. Um, the Ravenclaws have it on Wednesdays. I apologize. Um, I'm going to have to change the schedule. I have that power. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. There's an emergency scheduling change. An emergency scheduling change. They swapped the classes, that's all. Yep. I'm going to do it. The Gryffindors were really busy being brave. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. after lunch. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I'm going to do a little swap -a here. We're going to say Gryffindors have defense against the dark arts right now. Oh, yeah. So. I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> what are you doing at dad? Clem, you, Olive, and Maisie, uh, I've just had your conversation about what's been going on with, uh, Maisie and Alex. And, um... You are in class at the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Now, Defense Against the Dark Arts, um, you've been sort of given a little bit of a heads up that you will be starting duels this year. So the class looks a little bit different. You're in an actual different classroom than you were last year for Defense Against the Dark Arts. There's uh, a sort of very large... Uh, space in this classroom it's a lot wider and there's a sort of uh, large table that sort of fills the classroom and um, you walk in and you can see that there's uh, house banners that are hung up along the wall and uh, Clem you and Olive and Maisie walk into this uh, classroom and you can see this Students are kind of chattering a little bit. But what do you do? As soon as Olive walks in, uh, I think you can see all the blood drain from her face. Like she goes white as a sheet. And her eyes widen. And you see her kind of clutch her book bag to her chest much more tightly than she normally would. Uh, but she doesn't say anything. Can I read a person? Can I uh, read into this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well. That's a six. 
So I think when you try to figure out what's going on with Olive, um, you're probably not really able to to read her very well. How do you think? Yeah. How do you think that makes you feel, Clem? Um, insecure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a little bit unsure about uh. What's what's going on? I don't like the feeling. Have you been getting like some weird vibes from Olive so far this year? Oh, for sure. At first, I th just thought maybe it was like, I mean, tra tra trauma. <laughs> uh, really, last year was hard, you know, and so I've been. Um, trying to keep an eye on her a little bit and making sure that things are okay as much as I can because I'm also oblivious most of the time. Um, and so it feels a bit bizarre to maybe think that that's what I'm trying to see or trying to look for and not being able to pinpoint it and then starting to wonder, okay, well then wait, what? Maybe I was wrong, and like maybe there's something else going on, and I have absolutely no idea, and maybe I don't know her at all, you know? Olive, how are you feeling? Olive is terrified. Like, absolutely terrified. Um, I think with everything that's been going on, she hasn't been super present in classes, and it's completely caught her by surprise that they're going to be dueling today. And she kind of has like a knot in her chest, uh, and she feels like she can't really take deep breaths, and she's just kind of focusing on keeping it together in front of the classroom. She really doesn't want anyone to see that she's having a little bit of an internal panic. Okay. I would like you, Olive, to make a roll for me then. I think I'd sure. like you to... Um, I'd like you to make a convinced roll for me. Or actually, you know what? Show courage. Show courage is better. That is a soul roll. Okie dokie. Yeah, you're not feeling good about this, Olive. This is, uh... This is kind of terrifying. And it looks like a few of the other students... You're seeing kind of like a mix of... Some... Fear. And... Uh, some excitement. Sort of going around the room. Um... And, uh, it's, uh, yeah, there's an, there's like an air of excitement regardless, but you're just kind of not really feeling very good about it at all. You can see that, uh, there's this long sort of table and you can see the Hogwarts emblem in the center of the table. Um, it looks sort of sturdy and, um, it's positioned uh lengthwise across the 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 width of this this room here um the students all from gryffindor just kind of line up looking at the table um a few of them sort of feeling it seeing if there's anything strange uh about the table and um i think i think Maisie whispers to both of you are we doing duels today I don't remember being told about duels. No, I don't think so. Um, no, surely it's something different. They would have told us. <laughs> yeah, you can't just spring a duel on a bunch of kids, you know what I mean? Lily pipes up and she says, I... I, I mean, they, they said something in potions class. I mean, we had to have those potions ready. 
Um, right. Were we supposed to be using those potions in a duel? Is that how you duel? Wait, you fight at school? Is that like a real thing? It's defense against the dark arts. We, at some point, um, have to learn to defend ourselves, yes. And Olive's gonna kind of like, like her shoulders hunch over and she's gonna try to kind of like elbow her way through people a little bit, but to find sort of the, uh, the spot in the crowd where she thinks the professor is most likely to call on her to participate. <laughs> she's, she's trying to camouflage herself a little bit. Okay. So you're trying to hide yourself and so that you are not picked for this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. And, and she will kind of like look over her shoulder to check and see if uh, Clem and Maisie and Lily are going to come with her. She's not, you know, ditching them, but yeah, I just... Think, I think everyone would sort of head over there. Um... As you make your way over to a spot that's sort of inconspicuous, as best as you can, the professor walks in. Hello, class. Hello, Professor Bovin. The door closes. Good to see you. Now third years. I'm sure that your profotion, your potions professor has explained to you all about the bark skin potions that you were to be making in your potions class this week. All right. All of you that got approval from the professor, you can have your Bark skin potion ready, but do not drink it yet, please. Today, we will be starting to explain the finer points of dueling. Don't worry, today you will not be taking part in any duels. That will be saved for the next class. Today we will be speaking about duels in particular. Who can tell me what is involved in duel? In a magical wizarding duel? Anyone? Anyone? Surely someone has heard of duels? Lily raises her hand. Um, Professor? Miss Potter? Um, um, a wizarding duel, um, wizarding duels take place, um, amongst, uh, two or more wizards, and they, um, they engage in combat, um, with magic. Yes? They face each other and bow, and, um, then they take a stance, and at the count of three, they attempt to disarm, stun, injure, Defeat. Submit. Submit. Or worse. Um, kill. That is not something we will be doing in school, I assure you. But such things have occurred throughout magical history. What is the most important aspect of... Yes, Miss Everglade. Is it standard to um, begin learning to duel in third year? 
A good question, Miss Everglade. No, it is not. Yes, Miss Everglade. Why then, Professor, would we be learning it at a time when it is not usually taught to third years? For safety's sake, Miss Everglade. I will answer the question that I assume you are about to ask again, Miss Everglade. For safety's sake, because of recent events that have transpired here at Hogwarts. Last year, you yourself were witness to the dangers that can occur when two witches, wizards, or even magical creatures are in conflict. Therefore, the school board has decided to begin the dueling process amongst students to prepare you sooner. Yes, Miss Everglade. Wouldn't it be a better use of time and resources, Professor, to increase Hogwarts security so students are not put in a position to duel before they're ready to in the first place? As I understand it, there have been precautions taken around school. However, it is important for you all to learn how to defend yourselves. We can't protect you forever. And the sooner that you learn, the better. That is what was decided by the school board and the faculty here at the school. I'm sure you may have noticed that your potions class in learning the bark skin potion, um, the professor must have also mentioned that there will be more instruction given on ways to defend yourselves this year. This is true for all of your classes. Now, are there any other questions? Miss Goosanders. Um, I'm just curious because, uh, well, are things always going to be this dangerous? Is that just how it is? Always? Magic. Miss Kusanders is a powerful and dangerous method of living for witches and wizards. It is beautiful and it can also be used for evil purposes. That is why defense against the dark arts is so important. It is a means to educate you and tell you about the things that are out there so you can be properly prepared for them. It very well may be a scary thing, a terrifying thing even, but it is a necessary one. Now, we will spend time making sure that you all know how to defend yourselves. The bark skin potion is taught to you early by the potions professor for many reasons, 
that I'm sure they've gone over with you as well. But, first and foremost, the potion is rather easy to create, it is rather cheap to create, and it provides a modicum of protection. As you develop your magic and your skills, you will learn to cast more complicated spells as well. One of which is normally reserved for fourth year and above. You will be learning this in your charms classroom, but I will introduce it to you as well. This is a shield charm meant to protect against harmful curses, hexes, and most other harmful spells cast towards you. It will protect you when other things will not. If you do not have a bark skin potion, if you do not have a, another means to protect yourself, the shield charm is one you must know. I know that this is not an easy spell for many of you to complete. As I said, it is usually reserved for fourth year and above. However, we will begin teaching you the spell now, and you will be able to practice it in your spare time regardless. To cast the Protego spell, the Shield Charm, you must hold your wands thusly, and circle counterclockwise, while infusing your wand with your will, during the counterclockwise sweep, Protego! Protego! Now, I would like you all to begin casting Protego charms. Please begin. Lily sort of looks at the rest of you. Maisie looks at you. I didn't know that we'd be doing already. I'm sure it'll, it'll go fine. Just try your best. See Lily trying to cast the Protego charm. Um, and I want, uh, some spells cast. This is a fourth year spell. So this is a, uh, minus one forward going for you, Clem and Olive. Please cast the spell. And if you have any, uh, if defense against the dark arts is your favorite class, you also get a plus one. Ooh, okay. Oh, well then that's a six. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Still not great. Um, okay. So, Olive, you begin to cast the spell. And in front of you, you see this sort of magical bubble appear briefly for a moment. And it disappears. Ah! Olive! Miss Everglade! Very good, very good. Have you practiced this spell before? No, I just heard of it today. Very impressive. Thank Plus you, Professor. five points for Gryffindor. Clem, what happens when you try to cast your spell? Um, well... I announce Protego, and then I think, like, nothing happens. At all. I'm like, what? Um, did, did you go 
counterclockwise. Y- yeah, uh, yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. Maybe it's there, you just can't see it? You should be able to feel it, though. Did you I feel it? feel it. Um... Well, I could have j- just have gas, but I mean, like, I don't- I don't think so. I don't- Quick, I don't. hex me! Hex you? Yeah, I mean, we could, sh- should we test it out? <laughs> it was a joke. I was- I was joking. I was trying to make you laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to practice together? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, when you tried the spell, what were you thinking about? I'm um, like being a turtle with like a shell. Being a turtle? Like a shell. Like a protective shell. But then I I think I started thinking about how wrinkly their little knees are. You were thinking Um, about wrinkled up turtle skin. Yeah, but specifically the knees. They're pretty cute. And how they like munch strawberry. Have you ever seen the video where they're like eating a strawberry? It's super cute. Anyway, that's probably why um, why it didn't (laughs) succeed. (laughs) Clem. Is there any subject in school that you focus on as much as you, like, focus when you're reading? Or is that, like, level of concentration just reserved for Beanie Valence novels? Dark creatures, too. Care of uh, magical creatures, you know? You know, Um, I just reserve my energy and focus for things that I care most about. Right. Okay. No, that's good. We can work with that. So I want you to picture, um, you, you, you save your energy and focus for the things you care about the most. Okay. I want you to picture the thing you care about most in the entire world. Um, and you don't have to say it out loud because it's just for you, but I want you to pick a spot in the room and picture it right there and then picture that um if something's coming to attack it right like if it's standing next to you um how are you going to defend it and and maybe try to like capture that feeling of protection and maybe that will come through in the spell that's what i do Uh, okay i can try it again can i try it again (laughs) Sure. Can I assist her in any way if she's doing it? Uh, how how are you doing that? Uh, I think Olive. I mean, first and foremost, I think she would go over the arm motions with her to make sure she's doing it correctly. But then I think she would stand next to Clem, and she would just say, "Okay, so picture. I'm going to take the place of what." whatever it is that you're trying to defend, okay? So just look at this face and just imagine whatever you're defending right here, okay? Look at it. Look at it right here. Yeah. You're defending whatever it is. And then just channel that through your wand. And then make sure, not a giant circle, right? Not clockwise, counterclockwise, and keep it very controlled. I'll be right next to you, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to envision, like, I wasn't there, but I'm going to imagine Olive fighting by herself last year, and I'm going to try and do this well. So I have a minus one, right? but I have a plus one for defense against the dark arts. So it negates it. it I can just assume that. Mm-hmm. And you get your relationship with Olive. Yeah, right now it's, it's a zero, so. <laughs> Sorry, but the music 
<laughs> Clem starts to cry. I think she put the most amount of effort like trying to imagine all of being in this incredibly dangerous, precarious situation by herself and the weight of that and realizing that she couldn't, she wasn't there and she couldn't save her. And she's just overwhelmed with this feeling that she can't even do it now. And so she just kind of like starts to cry a little bit. And then it's like, it's okay. I'm just, uh, I'll get it eventually. It's just not my day, you know? It's okay. It's just a spell. It's the first day. It... Hardly anyone ever gets it on the first day. So, really, don't... Don't think twice about it. N nobody's really in danger. You... You didn't... Mess up or let anyone down. It's okay. Have I ever messed up or let you down? Literally not once. Are you sure about that? <laughs> mm. Have you ever been in charge of making the bean sandwiches? Um... You know, now, uh, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't think I was. Then no. Okay. We'll keep practicing. Um, so that I make sure that stays no forever. Even if you don't, though, you know, you could fail at casting all the spells in the world and you still wouldn't let me down in any way or disappoint me. Unless you are trying to do it to pull off some kind of prank or to get me chocolate, in which case maybe just a tiny bit, but I don't think that counts. I don't think I need magic to get you chocolate though. It was a joke, Clem. I, it was a call back oh, to earlier yeah, okay. when you were trying to make me laugh, oh. <laughs> and I tried to do that to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the best <laughs> jokes are the ones where you have to explain to the person that you were joking because they <laughs> yeah. couldn't tell and didn't yeah. laugh at it. You absolutely nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're pretty special, Olive Everglade, you know. I don't think so. I think I'm just good with a wand. You wouldn't be as special if you thought that you were special. It's a paradox of special. Paradox of special. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to keep practicing? Yeah, you know, my ego could take a couple more hits, I think. Right. And you continue practicing. Um, <clears throat> we switch scenes to, um, <clears throat> Now, because I've messed up first period and I'm going to have to switch Tuesday and Wednesday, that means it's <laughs> charms for Hufflepuff right now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, so. Hufflepuff is in charms. Uh, Rosie, you've, uh, you're in charms class right now with... Um, Professor Flitwick. Um, hmm. I think, uh, you're seated, and you can see, like, there's, um, uh, it's the usual classroom. Nothing special, really, about, uh, class today. And, um, 
Professor Flitwick is there uh, on time and ready to go, as usual. Um, you can see that, like, the rest of the Hufflepuffs are sort of talking. And you can hear something about, like, something about, like, uh, duels going around the class. You can maybe hear, like, you can maybe hear, like, Rain talking about it. She's, like, sitting behind you or something. I think, uh, Rosie, like, turns around and, like, puts her hands on the desk and is like, Duels? Yeah. Supposedly, the duels are going to start a year early. You're gonna force us to fight each other? Like heathens? What's a heathen? Okay. Um, like, like, war criminals? I don't know if war criminals have duels. But I feel like I feel like war them. is just one big duel. So I don't think that's I don't I um would like to opt out of dueling. I uh, I don't know if you can, Rosie. Uh well I will just have my dad's write a note. And in the American school system, that means I don't have to do anything they want me to do. But this is in America. Yeah, but like, I'm from America, so um, obviously, well, th that it should work here too. Why? Very American point of view. Uh, I do not have a defense for that argument, but, uh, the most un-American thing I can think of is that I would not want to fight my friends. I think we're just learning how to protect ourselves. Well, I can't fight my friends because I'm a dual nautist. Which is where people don't duel. So. Okay. That's all. That's, uh, that'll just have to be discussed with some, with someone in my dad's. I, is Ashley Indigo dueling? I think everyone is. Like, do we fight our, our own houses or like or what are the odds of hufflepuff having to fight other ends i think we all practice against each other so there's like a slim chance that i might practice against the slytherins i don't know well, we don't have defense against the dark arts with slytherin Okay, I'll keep I'll keep that in mind. For no reason. Professor Flitwick uh, takes his position. Uh, excuse me. Class. Um, <clears throat> class. Um, if you could please take your seats. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Cloud. <laughs> good afternoon. Um, good morning. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, uh, good to see you, students. Um, uh, today we will be learning the fundamentals of the Protego, uh, shield charm. Uh, does anyone know what the shield charm is? It's it's charm that makes a shield. Yes. Nailed it. And Protego is a soup. Incorrect, Miss Earthcloud. I would appreciate it if you didn't say that after every answer that you gave. As well. 
suggesting that it is some sort of food. Charms are not food. Well, food is very charming. I'm sorry for the confusion. <clears throat> yes. Well. Anything else about the shield charms? Anything else? Professor? Yes, Miss Salamander. Isn't the shield charm... ...difficult? Yes, it is. Um... <clears throat> you will be learning several charms that are of... ...normally taught in later years here at Hogwarts. Um... You'll notice that we have several that you will be learning throughout the course of the year that are, in fact... Um, they are, um, well, a bit more difficult than, than you would normally expect. Um, uh, Professor, I'm already bad at the, my own level of magic, so how are you expecting me to perform above-grade magic? An understandable question, Miss Earth Cloud, but 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 um, the um, the level of spell is um, no matter. Um, you will be practicing longer than you would normally be practicing spells of, of the third year, um, and um, uh, you will have more time to 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 prepare yourself. Um, but we, uh, in the school board, um, b b b believe that, um, it is imperative that you all learn, um, how to properly defend yourselves, and you will be, um, learning such things in your de de defense against the dark arts classroom, uh, as well. So, uh, the Protego charm, uh, uh, the potato charm uh, can block and reflect a multitude of spells, such as most jinxes, uh, hexes, and minor curses, as, as well as block physical forces. Um, <clears throat> exceptionally powerful shield charms are even able to knock people off their feet. Um, However, uh, the shield charm isn't completely impenetrable. Um, it cannot block uh, the unforgivable curses. <clears throat> but uh, it is uh, uh, very capable of bl blocking uh, most um, jinxes, hexes, and minor curses, as has been stated. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, Protego, uh, shield charm, um, <clears throat> is, um, <clears throat> um, sometimes difficult. Uh, as Miss Earthcloud has stated, um, it can be difficult. So do not despair if you are unable to cast the, uh, shield charm immediately. Um, you will learn this over the course of the year, uh, to a reliable degree. Um, the shield charm is done thusly. <clears throat> With a counterclockwise motion of your wand in a circle. And <clears throat> you infuse your wand with your will. And visualize the uh, shield forming in front of you like a bubble. And um, <clears throat> then you um, um, uh, cast the spell uh, with the incantation uh, like so. <clears throat> Professor Flitwick uh, steadies himself and then makes the motion. Protego! <laughs> As you can see, the uh, shield forms in front of you for a short period of time, and if properly uh, executed, it will uh, not only uh, protect, but it could also reflect uh, a spell. Uh, but you must have the timing right, and it requires uh, good reflexes. I would like you all to begin practicing now, please. Okay. 
Am I just casting a magic spell? It's minus one, and this is the charms class. If I, I, I already know what your favorite class is, so I know you don't get the plus one there. My favorite class is obviously charms. I talk about it all the time. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Protego. Okay. A seven. That is a partial success. What happens when you cast a spell, Rosie? Yes, a very good question from you, Wack. Um, mm, I think instead of being like a, a good normal shaped shield, uh, it's shaped really oddly. Like it's kind of like a like a blob in front of me instead of being like a perfect circle. Um, and uh, yeah, I straight up just my wand is thrown from my hand. I'm just like, oh, sh snap. Cast the spell, and as the, I think as the blob sort of forms in front of you, and we see it uh, start to coalesce, uh, part of it, like, connects with your wand, and your wand just <laughs> sort of goes flying from your hand. Whoa! Professor Flitwick ducks. Sorry, but Professor, did you see that? I think it was shaped like a lava cake. If I was facing you, I would have uh, cast a Protego uh, myself. Whew. Next time, about, keep an eye on Miss Earth Cloud. All right. That, professor. And you can see the other Hufflepuffs. They're all, everyone seems to be struggling with it. It's it's by far not an easy spell. Um, and Hyacinth, uh, who probably wasn't even sitting next to you before, is like sitting next to you in the desk. And... Um, she's staring at you with her wand out. Uh, yes, Hyacinth? I couldn't even make a blob. Um, uh, I was just thinking about cake the whole time. Did you try thinking about cake? No. Do, do you want to try again and think about your favorite cake? All right. Okay. Hyacinth, maybe think about farting as a protection. I was just thinking about the empty void before. Oh, do you want to be in the void or away from the void? Yes. Let's try the fart thing. All right. Protego. I synth farts. <laughs> okay. Okay, Hyacinth. No, you did really good. No, you did great. Um, it was the wrong protection spell. Uh, that's one that maybe animals in the wilderness use. Um, like a skunk. Uh, so good. Smart thinking. I like where you were going with that. I am just gonna, and she like steps to the side and takes a deep breath and comes back. I'm better. I'm good. I'm fine. Yeah. Amazing work. Really as creative. I like skunks. Oh, of course you do. Who doesn't? I mean, some people keep them as pets. Some keep them, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep working on that. I'm really proud of you. Is there anyone else around me, Wack, that I could maybe share a table with? <laughs> yeah, you weren't even sitting next to her before. She was just there when you turned around. I um, imagine Hyacinth just, like, slowly slides up in the frame in, like, every place that I am. And farts near me and leaves. It's like one of those, it's like an X-Files picture, you know? Like, you're looking at, you've got, like, pictures out, and there's just the smoking man, except it's Hyacinth, you know, is in, like, every frame somewhere. <laughs> She's just, like, hiding there, like, in the background. Um, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it, you, you look around, the other Hufflepuffs are, are practicing the Protego charm. Um, and, uh, I think that, um, I think, uh, I think Rain will say, um, she sort of, like, taps you on the shoulder. 
Rosie. Yeah, Rain, what's up? So I heard something from Catherine McFerris. And she Friends. heard something from Juniper Rosewood. Uh huh. Were y'all like playing something. telephone? Like in Girl Scouts? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a game that teaches you how hearing something from someone and passing it on uh, turns into a rumor with misled information. Anyways, you were saying? Well, Juniper Rosewood heard something from. Hayden and work, and Hayden had something from one of the Gryffindor students that, uh -huh. um, your, your friends, Alex and Maisie, were dating. Is that true? Um, um... Do I look like Alex or Maisie? Because last time I checked was Rosalina Earthcloud. And not a little rumor mill that you seem to think I am, Rain. That's so silly. Why would you even assume that that was any of y'all's business? <laughs> Several of the other Hufflepuffs, maybe now you notice, are also trying to, like, lean in and hear what's going on. Um, hey, Wack, can I roll to fart? Go ahead and give me a struggle roll. <laughs> Can it be plus one with my relationship with Maisie? Or like with my relationship with Maisie since I'm trying to protect their honor? Sure, why not? Cool, thanks. Protego or a protective fart. <laughs> why does it not surprise me? That Rosie has just gotten a 12. Yeah, you let that, one rip. Yeah, what do you I, think do? The, but I think Rosie uh, pretends she's practicing the Protego charm, but just like lets the loudest rip fart possible. Um, and then like looks over at Hyacinth and is like, that one was for you. And hopes that it reeks so terribly that everybody's staring and asking questions about Maisie and Alex just goes away. Uh, must have been those uh, breakfast sandwiches. I had like oh. seven. Oh, and several Hufflepuffs gently lean away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what Hyacinth does to me and just pop up right next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's way more floaty, I think, um, when you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But like. Uh, <laughs> It's more like a... Like a ghost Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you sort of float back over into position, avoiding the conversation. Perfect. For now. <clears throat> Anyways, Hyacinth, as I was saying, I really liked what you're doing with the Protego charm. Uh, I tried it myself. Complete success. Different than what... Professor Flitwick wanted, but I think it worked. What are you thinking about cake? Oh, almost always. But that time I was also thinking about the seven breakfast sandwiches that I had for breakfast. <laughs> I think I had bad eggs. Um, I did leave them in my pocket. I sent the nods knowingly. How old are your eggs, Hyacinth? That's a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> you don't name the episode, How Old Are Your Eggs? I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> We've had some really good episode names so far. <laughs> There's been some really good ones, and I've forgotten all of them. Um, <laughs> Paradox so. of Special. Paradox of Special? Yeah, that was what Merck said earlier. It sounds like a band name. It's definitely one I of Clem's favorite I think Meg said it. Oh, okay. I think my favorite is still dismantling the pastryarchy, though. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to take a little bit of a break here. Uh, if you haven't done so, please make sure you're following all these wonderful people. You can head on over to tablestory.tv slash WAW to follow them in all the places. 
uh, go follow them. They're wonderful people, and they totally deserve a follow. Follows are free. If you want to help in a monetary way, uh, consider throwing uh, you know, a sub their way. Get yourself some emotes. Go support these wonderful people. Um, if you have a Prime Gaming that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Um, and if you're not following Table Story, make sure you're following us here on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Table Story. And uh, Table Story on YouTube as well. Um, we have a Discord that you can join. Come hang out and talk about all the shows and things that we do. Uh, it's a very active Discord, and people are really good about uh, spoilers. They sp spoiler stuff and put episode numbers up. They're really good about it. Um, come hang out with us on the Discord. You can talk about this show. Um, and when we do some Quidditch eventually, uh, we will have the Quidditch bot going on on the, uh, on the Discord as well, which is um, a thing that Kujio made um, that will... Uh, randomly assign people houses, and I know you will probably not get the house that you were hoping for or expecting, but it's random, and uh, it will assign people positions on the Quidditch team when the Quidditch happens, um, and it's fun. You get to participate. It's a, it's a cool, cool thing that happens, and points will be recorded for uh, for the house points, so you can affect the house points. Um, Anyway, we're going to uh, take a little bit of a break here, give everybody a chance to use the bathroom, etc. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more Witchcraft and Wizardry. Back in just a few. After classes have been uh, completed, the morning classes have been completed, uh, I would like you all to roll a d6 for me, please. Is this for food? This is for food. So excited every time. I get to use my plus one. <laughs> so excited. Okay. Uh, Rosie, you are the first to arrive for lunch. Thanks. What's the spread looking like today, Wack? It's looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's never really bad. Uh, I mean, you basically get these feasts, these grand feasts with an insane amount of food prepared for you on the daily. Um, and you help whenever you can. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a good size meal here. It's looking pretty legit. Um, the, uh, the dining hall is starting to get full. You're among one of the first people to arrive. Um, do you go to sit down at your table? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think Rosie... Uh is like half jogging into lunch she's so excited and then she does that like little butt scoot slide on the bench to their table and then just immediately starts fork and knife grabbing things onto her plate and shoving them into her mouth while she like i imagine rosie's feet are swinging she's doing a little food happy dance she's looking around looking around at everybody shoving a whole cucumber sandwich into her mouth she's got a drumstick in the other hand <laughs> no, no, no. Why did you look at me and roll like that? No reason. Um, Scorpius is beginning to walk over to you. I thought maybe you were going to make a joke on a cucumber sandwich. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Scorpius. You want some of this? And it's like my half-bitten drumstick. Um, hello, Rosie. Um, no, I no. think I'm all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No big deal. No big deal. How are you? You want some of this? She just keeps offering him like a different thing she has in her hand each time. Rosie, there's food on the table. That sorry, I... it's just, sorry, you're right. That's right. Uh, help yourself. I made some of it, but not all of it. Um, thank you. Um, uh, yes, I'm all right, I suppose. How are you? Uh, I, uh, farted in charms class and uh i did a partially successful protego charm so i'm on top of the world really uh i think i'm doing great and she just starts shoving like uh like a, a ball of crushed up sandwich into her mouth like for easier access <clears throat> well um yeah i'm all right um <laughs> so why exactly did you fart in Charms class? Mm, mm. What do you know about maybe in uh, Alex? What? What do you know about... <clears throat> Sorry. What do you know about Maisie and Alex? 
You farted on Maisie and Alex? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Have I? No, I don't think so. Um, no. Uh, what do you, what do you know about them? I, I, I don't understand the question. You haven't, like, heard any weird rumors or anything, right? Rumors? I mean, there's okay. plenty of rumors, I suppose, but I haven't uh -huh. really tried to pay attention. Okay. Anyways, people were asking questions, uh, and I didn't want to answer them, so I farted, and they left me alone. And honestly, the Protego charm is supposed to protect me, but I think in this case... The old eggs I ate protected me way better than the Protego charm could have. Why were you doing the, the Protego charm? That's a great question. Apparently, third years are learning how to protect themselves now. I think we're all dueling. Dueling? Yeah, duel. Yeah, dueling. He said that's what I think Litwick said dueling. Maybe he said schooling. I'm pretty sure he said dueling, though. That's strange we didn't learn till well the last year what year are you again 17th <sighs> not that old just like don't understand how numbers work really i'm fifth, fifth year rosie <gasps> oh, i got second try got it second try okay so normally we should be learning it fourth year do you think something's wrong? Do you think that they're worried they're gonna... F that... Never mind. Um, have you ever seen anybody get out of the dueling? Because I'm trying to write a note saying that I'm a duel notist, which are people that do not duel unless it's against Ashley Indigo. Well, I tried to get out of the dueling. Um... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And you got it. And now you've never dueled. No. You had to duel, didn't you? Well, here's the thing. My father uh -huh. insisted that it was very important. He wouldn't... Uh -huh. He wouldn't write a note or anything for me. Um, oh. So what I had to do was... Um, I spoke with the headmistress. Uh -huh. And... Um, after a very long conversation... She explained that it was important and blah, 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 blah. Mm. I, oh, what you're saying is I shouldn't even try? Well, I, I don't know. You might be successful. Are there uh, jelly beans on this table, Wack? No. Is there like any sort of like candy or do we only get savory foods for lunch? There's not savory. It's not just savory, but there'd be like desserts and things. Um, I think but I don't think there'd switches. be any candy. She switches and just any sweet dessert like food she can grab. She starts like pity eating. Sure. Out of. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I won't even ask. I'm just going to like break her hand or well. something. <sighs> if I can't hold my wand, then they can't. So, and they can't make me duel. Just out of curiosity, why don't you want to do the duels? Um, I'm a pacifist, which means that I don't fight anyone, um, except Ashley Indigo, it says in the fine print of my pacifist rules. Huh. I wrote the rules. So it's not because you're scared? No, I'm... I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? I did pretty good at the Protego's Charm first try today. Are you trying to say I'm scared? You want to duel me? Because no. I can't do that. It says it in the rules. No, um, I, I don't like fighting, Rosie. I don't like pain particularly. Oh, so very much. you were scared. It's okay to be scared. It's okay. Yeah, everybody gets scared. I'm scared of water. <laughs> Um, or water? Uh, yeah. I call it tea now to make the word sound better. All right. Um, 
have many questions, but okay, yeah. Um, first and foremost, um, what I was going to suggest for the duel was <laughs> that um, that you just try to defend yourself, maybe. Oh, I don't hit them, but I try to not let them hit me. Right. Huge noodle! That's really, that's really smart. I should write that down on my hand. Go on. Hit. My gosh, I feel like my dad said something very similar to me once when I was a child. Don't hit. Okay, that's good. I'll keep that in mind. Now, you mentioned something earlier about Alex and Maisie. It's about that time that Alex starts to walk in. What about... Hey, Alex! Ooh. Hey! Oh. Hi. Hello, Alex. Oh, hi. It's nice to see you. You were talking yes. about, du about dueling. Oh, right. And how I refuse to do it, so I'm just going to let them hit me. You refuse to do it? Yes, I am a pacifist. Uh... Unless it's Ashley Indigo. Okay. Well, 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 I think you should at least do it a little bit. Like half of it. Because a lot about the dueling is, well, at least half of it's about the defensive part, right? Can't we duel with dummies? Why do we have to duel with people? I well, can't well, duel a tree. I couldn't hurt a tree, actually. Here's, here's, here, I have a suggestion for you if you'd like. Okay, yeah, I'm open to suggestions. You could uh, speak to the teacher on private and say, I have... He, he, um, he, he already tried that. Oh, oh well, really? Yes. Um, well, I, 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 I was thinking it. a half measure. I tried it last year. Okay, so I was going to say that you say, I am happy for people to cast spells at me and practice defending them, but... I have vertigo. Yeah, I'm too dizzy. Have, to... No, 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 no. What Glenn says all the time. Uh, I have a therapy about hurting people. Okay, I'll try that. I don't. No, sorry, that... a trauma. Wrong word. A trauma. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, what if I say that it's illegal where I come from? <laughs> What? <laughs> you can run America. <laughs> <laughs> I took a point. They hit yeah. everyone. <laughs> I hit it there. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say it's homophobic. That's what my dad say when people are doing something. What we do? I would. I don't think you understand what that means. I think it means you're being mean to my dad's. Uh, well, and you can't be mean to my dad's. So I'll be like, you're being mean to my dad's. Homophobic. Well, if someone was being mean to your dad's, what do you think you would do to them? I would um, put my hands up like this, and I would stand mm -hmm. in front of them, and I would say, no, thank you. And then me and my dad's would leave and get ice cream. Okay, but there are, in between you and your dad's and... And they both have one. You know you what, Alex? Wand. And then I think I'd feel sad because if somebody is going to be mean to my very cute and loving parents, then uh -huh. I feel bad for them. And you okay. know what they need? Thoughts and mm. prayers. Uh, or a good stupefy would do the trick, I would say. No, no, no. So uh, back to the hand. Those are the rules. Wait, but have you ever stupefied someone really good? No, of course not. I can barely cast a spell. I did cast Protego in Charms class today, Alex, which was pretty oh, cool. I <laughs> yeah, I and then the, I farted. The... I mean, okay. <laughs> I, the, the best of both worlds, really, if you think about it. I mean, sorta. I mean, you re well, okay. So, I mean, if you've not stupefied someone real good, how do you know that you won't like it? Maybe I would feel guilty. I, mean, I would feel guilty, and then you're it would not eat hurting me. them. You're stupefying them. But don't the people that are stupefied don't they sometimes fall over? 
And doesn't that hurt them? That's true, but then you could cast Spongify so it doesn't hurt them. Okay, let me go back over this with you. I can barely cast a spell, and you want me to cast two See, of them you, 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 in succession. Okay, so, right, I do. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to register a vote that you are being too hard on yourself when it comes to your spell casting. I think. I think Alex is right. Okay, how about this? I uh, am gonna make dueling vegan. And everybody that participates has to be willing and uh, acknowledge that they are going to possibly be hurt and want that. Or I won't do it. If somebody's even the slightest bit scared, I'm not interested. I think we can make make dueling vegan. Make dueling vegan. I'm not even vegan, actually. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it would limit your food, and you do like exactly, exactly. Food. Um, I do I do vegan well, food on Sundays. What if you do? What if you do? Um, you cast spells that aren't hurtful but are effective in dueling. That could really help you with, like, instead of casting stupefy in someone, you can cast mm-hmm. Wingardium Leviosa, and in that way, they definitely won't fall down because you'll be lifting them up. Okay. Um, so, yeah, cool. Maybe we could, like, all practice this somewhere sometime. If you if you want to practice, um, we can't call it dueling. We need to come up with a we, friendly inter spellcaster spellcasting. That was very long. Oh, we can just call it for short. <laughs> for short? Yeah, and I suspect it's what are you? What well, does this stand for again? Well, well, what if we Alex, just call you, it friendly fire? Are you fire? feeling all right? No. Yes. So is it no or is it yes? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said no. Yes. That's what did I heard I, as well. I tried to just say the yes, but the no came out to. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So uh-huh. what if we called it? Um. Friends don't hit friends. It's about this time that Olive comes in. Uh, as Olive walks into the Great Hall, uh, I, I would like to see if Ashley Indigo is there for lunch before deciding where to sit. Sure. Go ahead and try and notice something. Nope. She's not there. Cool. That's what I wanted anyway. Um, I'm gonna walk over to the swath table then. And oh, hey. hey, Olive. Hi, Olive. Oh. Olive. Hello. Um, what? Why do you look so confused? Why no, do you, you look said... so confused? Me? 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 Are you confused? I'm a little I'm confused, confused because... now. I'm trying to make dueling vegan, so it's been a bit of a confusing time. Um, oh, that's uh, an interesting I'm, idea. Well, also, I'm a pacifist, I so I can't fight anybody if they're scared or don't want to do it, and I feel like nobody wants to duel, and um, how can we I'll make that? With you. You're going to duel do with you, me? Do you know what? I'm probably not the... Do you know who would be really good to duel you? Who? Be really good at that? Barney. Why would I duel Barney? Because Barney knows... Have you met Barney? Yeah, of course, but I, like, know you way better than I know Barney. Like, I know Barney, but, like, I know Alex. But, but, but I know Barney. And okay. he is... He's good at some of the things I'm not good at with stuff. And when it comes to figuring out how to... You can duel, Barney's the best bet. I would love to read between the lines right now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this be a relationship with Alex. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Um. What are you planning? What am I planning? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um. To. Uh. 
get Ruthie to to uh, spell casting practice with Barney instead of other people. Like I really wanted to be Barney. I'm planning okay. to make sure that Barney and Rosie spend time together to practice the spell casting. Kind of. Uh okay, interesting. I'm gonna kind of I'd like to ask the question, are you telling the truth? Okay. Uh kind of. I am Um <laughs> I'm trying the fact that I'm trying to get them together is true, but the premise as to why is not. <laughs> gonna take a second to kind of size up what Alex is doing and then she's going to put her hand out towards Rosie and say I will duel with you Rosie um okay, we, cool. we sure? know each other very well and um you know that I'm uh, I Busy. I'm not scared or um yeah. I'm I'm uh, consent willing absolutely and then you don't have to worry about hurting me um and and you can only use defensive spells and you uh -huh. don't have to do anything offensive and can I try to stupefy you of course you could stupefy Barney he's like super tough he got punched but you once Barney's by... not even here Alex why are you speaking for him I think we already decided that um Rosie yeah, I'm and I... like really comfortable with Olive as she watched me take a, a tea so you know I feel yeah we could do that 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 feels that I like I like Barney it's just that Barney's I wouldn't want to hate Wait, Barney. Do you like Barney I don't really what like we're yeah Barney and I ha we hang out what do you mean how do you feel about flowers and rock cakes though I make rock cakes all the time and flowers are living beings that should be protected at all costs and are beautiful and important to nature. It's about this time like that Clem comes in. Uh, what's up? Oh. Clem! <gasps> hey Clem! Hi. Why are you hey. yelling? You want this? It's a sandwich. Oh, sure. I like take it and sit down. Oh. You want this? It's a sandwich. It's cucumber. Wait, wait there, there's, um... Uh, we were just talking about um, vegan dueling practice. Rosie vegan and I are dueling. going to be practicing dueling. So all have agreed to help me duel because I'm scared to hit people without their consent. Uh, it goes against my pacifist rules. I can't hit anyone unless they're Ashley Indigo, which I have written in fine print on my hand. Um, if I could tattoo it, I would, but my dad said no tattoos until you're 18. That's uh, following her pacifist thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. When are you doing that? You want to come, Clem? Uh, is that okay? Like, I, I did a terrible job. I probably should practice. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to practice, and then we could do, I'll do it later. That works. What? What? No, no, no. You guys are going to practice together, right? Yeah. Is it Oops. weird if I come with you? Actually, you know what? I would like... Can I read into this? Sure. Can I, who are can you I trying read? to? Who are you trying to read? <laughs> um, I will read Rosie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really, with your relationship with Rosie. Yeah. Okay. An eight. And ask a question to Rosie. Uh, w what what are they planning? I'm planning on learning how to duel with somebody that won't judge me for failing. Okay. And I'm weirded, I because I'm weirded out. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's exactly what you told me. <laughs> exactly what you, yeah, yeah, exactly what you heard. Which is what I thought, but. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I, I, I don't have to, um, I don't have to help out. Uh, how about this? How about this? Because I'm nervous. Why don't we? Uh, I practice with all of it, and then we can all get together when I'm more comfortable and do more practice. Okay. That yeah, that great. sounds good. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. We could cool. make a list of um, pacifist spells uh, tonight, and then you could practice them and show everyone. We'll do like a um, rosy performance duel. No, 
oh, okay, veganism gotcha. on uh, on stage kind sounds of good. thing. Sounds good. And you see her take a bite of a sandwich, but her hand is very shaky because she's very nervous. Okay, I have a I, 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 I have a suggestion for something that you could do if you re- if someone really wants to deal you and you don't want to. Okay, yeah. What is it? You can just put make cookies uh, that have a sleeping potion in them and give them the cookies and then they'll fall asleep and they won't try to deal you i don't think and I you could. can you couldn't um that, i think that's like literally that's not, that's, no that's, I th- that's, no i think that would be the exact same thing as dueling oh, i think actually that's maybe really, worse the, the whole consent bit yeah it might, See, yeah, yeah, it might actually be worse it might, it might be worse consent. yeah well the person was gonna try and hurt you for real not like they don't want to do like, this person says i hate They're you a and villain? i'm gonna try and hurt her They're They're actually a villain but not her, because you're allowed to hit her. You said, but, but like, another one. But you know, demon like, Ashley Indigo, like like Bashley Bendigo or something. Oh no, um, Bashley Bendigo. Yeah, um, and you don't have a rule where you can hurt that person, so you give them cookies and make them fall asleep, and you're actually being nice to them. Well, but then I they think don't that in the day, okay, hear me out. In the case that I was hanging out with everybody, and I knew Bashley mm. Bendigo was going to hurt one of my friends, and mm-hmm. I needed to prevent that then I think that would be a situation which I hand them a cookie and put them to sleep and then get help. Um, but I wouldn't just be like, oh, they're going to duel me, eat this cookie. I think that would feel bad. But if I was protecting mm-hmm. other people, it might feel okay. See, see, I shouldn't even suggest this. This is why Varney would have been so much better. I this. think now we're he, kind he, of... He, he would have known that. Yeah. Getting into uh, the, like, uh, nuanced moralities of um, dueling. I Did think. anybody see Maisie? Is she okay? Did she throw up or something? Oh, yes. but, how, um, is, oh, how is Maisie, Alex? I, but, but, I think we, the... Oh, um, Maisie did throw up. I heard she threw up on the way to lunch. Oh, that's oh, now she's awful. Sick. And she's in the hospital wing, so. She just what didn't do too well um, with the Protego um, spell, and I think it made her a bit woozy. It ha- was Hyacinth in your class too? No, why? Oh. Um, was she making Hyacinth. people woozy? Well, um, yeah, almost always. Uh, More than usual? Mm, about the same amount as usual, probably. Oh. Um, I think she'll be fine. She's just, um, lying down in, in the hospital wing. Okay. If you, you know. You can, you can ask her how she is. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no big deal. I'll, uh, I'll check in on her later. How have, um, you been, Scorpius? Um, yeah, all right, I suppose. Um, you know, elephant in the room and all. Um, it's... Where? Where? No, it's... Where? It's... Where? Uh, that's Rosie, he means the breakup. Oh. Did you break up with an elephant? No, no. over an elephant. You broke up while riding an elephant together? No. Just something you say. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I'll go back for that biscuit. I, I'm, I'm fine. Are, are you? Are you okay? You're, That's you're what fine? people say notoriously when they're not doing so well. Would you like to talk about it? What? It's just I'm awkward fine all the time. sharing classes. Yeah, that proves my together. point. Alex. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, um, rearrange your schedule. Join a different house. Break Leave away. school. Move away. Yeah. Are you still glad that you dated, though? Like, does it feel worth it for how awkward it is now? That's a really good question. It's a really good one. Mm. It's thoughtful, Olive. Oh, I don't know. Um. Like, are you happy it happened? Are you are you more sad that, that it's over? Happy that we broke up. No, happy that you have the time you spend together. 
Mm. Does the happiness from the past outweigh the awkwardness of the present? I, I don't know. I haven't really given it much thought. The hands Are you hungry? really sold it. Would you Seems like, like to do a pro and cons list? I do that sometimes when I have to make decisions. Um. Are you all right? <laughs> Alex, you, are you holding your breath? Hmm? I, no, I, it's, I, it's, it's, um... Alex, I need to, I need to find a, a different, different... Uh, source of uh, breathing. Oh. Um. I hear sometimes people can breathe in from the other end. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I use that opportunity to slip away. <laughs> yeah, quick and quiet, please, Alex. <laughs> Alex is neither <laughs> quick nor quiet. Uh, I think you just straight up fall like after you try and leave your foot gets stuck on the bench as you're trying to uh, detach yourself because you've detached your <laughs> your microphone surely um and so are you okay <laughs> if there was a, if there was a, barney and lily uh actually help you up there was so rogue you are you all right alex no alex tried to breathe in from his other end and fell over asparagus Asparagus. Asparagus. Did he just say asparagus and leave? Was that a code word we had? I don't oh, remember. I don't think so. I can't even remember my something? homework. Maybe he just really wants asparagus? Um, well, maybe. I just, I had to just use the bathroom. Uh, I'll be right back. Um, oh. Um, hi, hi okay. Scorpius. Hello, Bonnie. Uh, excuse me. Barney walks off. Are Barney and Alex at? Oh, was he here when when we were talking about him earlier? I don't know. He definitely wasn't. I that's what I thought, but now I'm paranoid. Did he hear us talking about him? I don't think so. I didn't see him. I but okay. I was eating a biscuit, so I'm not too sure about that one. Lily, I'm making sure. Lily was with Barney as they were coming in. Uh, Lily sits down. Hi. Scorpius? Hi, Lil. Um, how are you? Good. You doing well? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Um, it's nice to see you. Good to see you too. we're having yes uh-huh is it raining actually the sky is gray and the future is bright raining cats and dogs out there really just adopt a pet coming down it's just so much rain so, um, are you enjoying, uh, classes this year, L Lily? Um, I don't know, sort of. Did, did you hear about the dueling? Oh, yes. Um, Rosie was speaking about the dueling, actually. I'm going vegan. I'm vegan dueling. What does that mean? It's a whole consent thing. She doesn't want to... She's um, dealing with a salad? <gasps> That's a great idea, Lily! Oh, if we should try that. Yeah, I'll get a salad. Rosie, I'll bring one. Cool. Can it have avocado in it? And I you see that. Olive pulls out some parchment and just sighs and goes, Avocado. Yep, it's on the list. Thanks for that. Croutons, Lily. Croutons, yes. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be delicious. <sighs> um, so, um, I have some classwork to get done, um, 
for. Um, I just I want to get a head start on it. So um, have, an, have a nice lunch, and I, I will see you all later. Bye. Bye, thanks for all the help. Bye. Like, I, uh, good luck with your schoolwork. It was nice to see your face. Bye. Bye, Bye. Scorpius. Lily, was that weird? Yes, was it horrible? I oh, just want to know. It was worse than horrible. What's I think happening? I just said the word rain over and over at one point. Cats and dogs. Well, they're adoptable. I know, but you were saying it's raining cats and dogs. Well, it is That's raining expression. cats and dogs. That one wasn't awkward. That's just something my dad says. Yeah, my dad say that too. That's totally normal. Um, so like, is that the first time you've spoken to him since the whole elephant riding incident? Yes. Hmm. What, what's an elephant riding incident? He said there was an elephant in the room and he said they were riding the elephant when they broke up. Oh, um, what? I don't, I don't know. I don't ask questions, but that sounds like a really exciting date. It sucks that they had to break up on the elephant. Do we know, um, do we know why they broke up yet? Like, does anyone know? Well, we, I think it was their dads or something. No, but it didn't help. It, it was obviously like hostility between my father and, and, and Scorpius's father, but, um, I mean, do they need to date? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they could have two dads too! Wait, they couldn't. They couldn't think if they had the same dads. Oh. I think yeah, you're mother, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. my mother might object. Oh. I forget about moms sometimes. Um, well, from what I understand, they just sort of, they had a bunch of disagreements, and there was some yelling, and then they just sort of happened. Wait, what were they disagreeing over? Well, I don't really know. Can Rosie just hugs Olive on her arm and leans in and whispers, The elephant. <laughs> Olive just kind of, kind of like leans her head in and giggles. Um, but really, uh, if it was, what if it was just something stupid and they could talk it out? If it's not something um, like their morals or values or um, things that make, you know, things they want to do in the future or whatever. What if it was just silly, petty stuff? And then all of this happened for nothing. I don't think that there's such a thing as, like, happened for nothing. I think, like, even if Scorpius doesn't know yet the ways in which it was good or he's still going through the awkward, tough times, it doesn't mean that it's, it's always going to be like that and that it totally negates the goodness, even though he wasn't so sure about it. If that makes I any sense. Out. Was it good or bad? Yeah, good point. Well, I, I mean, they always seemed happy together. They did, well, until the, there was some stuff. It was about the play, and, and then they were like a little bit of, and then there was a little, I, I and then I think know. they were like, mm, 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 mm. you know what I mean? No. Wait, um, what was that last one again? Mm, mm, mm. That one? Yeah. <laughs> that was the one with the, when the, there was the kissing scripted, and then one of them was like, no, thank you. And um. I think maybe it caused a bit of contention in their relationship. Maybe. I don't know. I just can't imagine, like, being that close with somebody and then deciding to not 
be that close with somebody anymore and then what you just stop being that close with somebody like you still know all the things that you were close about with them it doesn't leave your mind you still know all the bits that they shared with you but now you're just gonna pretend that you didn't know them and you don't know them anymore and then you just go on with your life like they weren't there maybe they're just like upset now and they just need some time and then they can be friends again you know like yeah, they you're just probably have right big feelings I have big feelings like every single day of my life. So maybe they're just having like a super big feeling. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. Or maybe one of them is a spy and they had to break up because they had a secret mission they had to go on. And you know, that seems a little bit more likely. The element know. came in. Yeah. Go off and see bananas. I was just thinking about a gift we could get both of them to say, like, sorry about the elephant. Two bananas? No, maybe like one bunch of bananas a piece. Um, I think maybe the, the right move would be not to remind them of the elephant at all. Like, <gasps> not even hint at it. Yeah, act like really you don't point. even know the elephant ever so happened smart. to You're anyone. So you don't tell anyone you think they broke up while riding an elephant. Okay, yeah, I won't say yes. anything. Privacy. I will just sit here and drink. Why don't? We'll I refer just... to it in code. Instead of saying riding the elephant, we'll just say when they broke up, and then no one will know what we're talking about. Oh my gosh. So when they broke up... Is riding or... the elephant. Okay, yeah, yeah I got that. Okay. So I'll call it when they broke up now. Nobody will know what I'm talking about. Except us. Accept us. Uh, I think anyways. Alex is okay. Uh, n uh, I'm not sure. L does Lily know about the? Do I know about pic what? The picnic between friends. Doesn't everyone? Seems like everyone was talking about it. Why yeah, she could have heard it from anywhere. Uh, um, um, I can't say it because if I'm the one that says it and I'm not supposed to say it to anybody, then I will feel guilty for the rest of my life. Oh no, say what? Wait, are we not supposed to say? I thought- I don't, I don't I thought know. it was okay. Um, did, did Maisie say it was okay? Did she say it um, wasn't? I don't remember her saying it wasn't. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, Alex and Maisie are having food together. Lily, you can't say anything because people are being really nosy and I was, I was in charms and people were asking me about it and I had to fart to get away from them. That's what they were talking about? Yeah, so if, if it ever comes back, that's how you found out was that people were talking in charms class. Right? Right. I thought, I thought Maisie slapped Alex. Oh, you know, no, like wasn't that I you? When I slapped him on the train? Yeah, no, no, there was no slapping. Uh, I think that they just, um, like, they each other's presents, and, and now they're gonna eat food together, which sounds honestly great. I love to eat food. So if I was ever gonna have, like, a romantic date with somebody, I hope they'd bring, like, really good Is food. Is it a date? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Marlin's beard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm But I'm not talking about it because it feels like everybody's being kind of nosy and it's none of their business. Are you dating anyone, Lily? No. Are you riding an elephant? No. Okay. I'm just trying out all the code words I can think of. Have you ever seen Icarus fly? What? What's that code know. for? I'm not sure. I I think it's a poem. This is very confusing. Yeah. Yeah. That it seems is. to be third year in a nutshell, if you ask me. But, but hear me out. Me and Olive are gonna—we're gonna do pacifist dueling later. So, what does that even mean? 
Well, we'll find out when we figure that out. I have a lesson plan in mind, so... You wrote a lesson plan? Want just some ideas? You fold your socks. What else would you do with socks? Oh. I'm really glad you can't come into my room. Wait, what do you do with your socks? There's like a smash um, cut for everybody else of Rosie's area. It's a dresser overflowing with clothes, but socks are the perfect storing unit. So one sock is filled with dried rice, one's got some dried beans, and then they're all mismatched. Um, Smash cut olives are day of the week socks that she has <laughs> in order, color coordinated with the outfits that she wears Monday through Sunday. They have your uh, like initials on them somewhere. Yeah. And they have like, she's stitched in like a little handwritten thing that's like, Olive Everglade. I think, I think I have a sock on me and she pulls out a sock filled with dried rice. I mean, they're like bags, but made of cloth. That, that's not the sock that you also wear though. You don't put No, your... that was last Tuesday sock. I'm not wearing that sock right now. Did you wash it before you put? Did you wash it? Um, I thought that, I thought that our clothes just got washed automatically. We switch scenes. <laughs> Alexander, where have you run to? Um, the nearest source of outside. Um, rush out. I think the fire, the fire looks closer. Uh, From the entrance hall? Well, no, I mean, there's, like, you could, I guess, like, the quad is the closest? Probably? Oh, yeah, quad would be the closest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll run to the quad and find, like, a, I'll tuck myself into, like, a little corner or something. Maybe under just a little overhang, just mm -hmm. so the rain isn't getting me too much. Yeah. <sighs> You can see some, like, large text floating into the quad. Alex! I took myself into a corner a little bit more. Alex! Alex! <laughs> Alex! <laughs> I, I, I just hold a hand out from my corner. Alex, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Breathing different with... With, um... It's just... I don't know. You all right? Um, no, I don't feel. I don't feel all right. I feel very un, 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 un the opposite. Not not all right. I don't. There's uh, too much with. Um, I don't. I don't know. What's wrong? I, I, I can't. There's. It's like the air isn't making me feel like I'm breathing. And 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 and. You and want me to take I've, you to 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 Madame Pomfrey? Oh no, 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 we can't, because Maisie's. I mean, mm, mm, mm. What about and, Maisie? Maisie? She's there, and she she's. Uh, uh, and then I don't. Know, what if what what, what? You know? No. I, if there's there's I. I can't. I because what if everyone else is is is, is there, or what if uh, uh, I can't? There's I don't. Uh, take take a deep breath. <sighs> take some deep breath. I think I am, but I'm not sure. Am I taking deep breaths? Yes. Okay, good. Is that why I feel lightheaded, or is that because I'm not taking enough deep breaths? I don't know. <sighs> Did anyone cast a spell on you? 
No, uh, do you know one that helps me not feel how I feel? Oh, uh, um, um, you did that one for, for me. Oh, ma- oh no, don't, don't use that. Don't use that one. I think that one was a trap my gran set for me. Um, 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 it's okay. Um, just, just, uh, tell me about, um, something else and it's different. Something else that's different. Um, uh, um, okay. So, um, uh, Oris, Oris, um, okay. Oris is different. No. Um, I know Oris. Um, uh, pause. What? Pause. Or, I don't know. There, 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 or, there was one of the, um, there, Barney, the order, I, so I, just to think orders were super cool. Uh huh. I still think they are, but then also one, um, uh, was doing things in, inside my head, I think, and, and tried to hurt my friends and. Right. Uh, right. So, um,. Um, no, this is good. Uh, I can focus on this did, did instead you, of other things. Did you read? Uh, is there any new magical mishaps books? No, yeah. Um. Uh, uh, are there any al- alternatives? What's your favorite magical mishap? Uh, the, 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 the extra arms. The first. This is the best. The first one I found, and the best one. Oh, how many arms did they have? One really bad idea of an extra arm. Why was it so bad? Because it made them crash their broom and then tore itself free and went on a rampage. The broom or the arm? The arm. I don't know, which is worse. Why do you like that book? I, 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 I don't know. It gives me something else i don't know i it tells me bad things that can't happen so i know not to do them so then i'm not worried about them happening i think right um it's okay okay it's okay okay thank you barney yeah i think my breathing is not being uncooperative anymore Whew, I don't like it when I... <sighs> okay. Um. You alright okay. now? No, but less not alright. So, right direction. It... Are you... Ooh. Ooh. And there's just, I got knocked off balance a little bit. At right. first, they were talking about the elephant on the broom, and then I tr- tried to. I was also I tried to get you and Rosie some alone time, and it didn't work. It actually made her have time where she'd be around other people, so it sort of backfired. And then, um. Maisie wasn't there, and then they asked questions. They, 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 they asked me about Maisie, and then they started talking about how how who Scorpius because he was there, and and how they broke up, and um, and they were asking like, did that make things bad? And he's like, yeah, kind of, and then. Um, and then I kind of remember what I said to you earlier, magical creatures, where she might, and I lose my friends, and and that all came, and it was, um, and then my breathing stopped working, but it was just a momentary error, and it's fixed. Ish. Alex, I mean, 
you don't know that the same thing's going to happen. Right. I'd rather not think about it though. Well, I think that's, that's better, right? Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Well, I think, I think maybe you should just, you know, do, do whatever you, you think you should do and then you have to, then you have to sort of deal with anything that happens, you know? Yeah, like, I, I want to not be scared about things, um, and, and, so, or, 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 I, I want to do things that I'm scared of, or do things when I'm scared, but, or all of those, um, or like do things properly because sometimes they manage to do the thing just not well and you know want to be brave and or something you you are brave alex oh i i well being brave doesn't mean that you're never scared yeah well, I, I'd like to be brave and competent at the same time. <laughs> I think everybody wants that, right? Yeah. And with, with the Maisie stuff, I feel I really want to be brave about that. You know? And about the the, 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 the the what ifs. I want to be brave about those. Shit. With, with like everything. All, all the. All, everything else. All the other stuff that happens. And. You know, it's hard. It's, you know, it's really hard. And. I. I don't know. I just. I guess I just need more practice or something, you know? Well, that's why you have friends, Alex. We all help each other. Right. Like, you... You... You and the rest of Swaf... Mm -hmm. You... you You've done some really brave things before. Uh huh. You know, and sometimes things don't work out. Right, right but it's that. Okay, pause. Whew. It's it's um. It's it's the the where well, it's that with with the Maisie that did not work out with the Maisie thing makes I don't. I don't like that. That makes me die. Don't. Whew. Whew. I don't like. I don't like that idea. I. I really want it to be okay. She's so happy when it's okay, and, and I like it when she's happy. That's so. Good. Right, but also I mean, really, really, lots of mistakes. So, it's like, what if I just make it too many or something, and then, you know, I make the wrong kind of mistake or something, and then, and and then she isn't happy anymore, and then that's it. Is that right? <laughs> I can't get any more outside. <laughs> so, 
let's breathe and whew, I could maybe get more insane. Somewhere with whew. Alex, it's uh, uh -huh. it's okay yeah. to make mistakes. We all make whew. mistakes. Yeah. Okay. Listen, we, we all make mistakes, but it's it's what we do to, to fix them. I don't know how to fix them, though. But you learn. I, 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 right. I, my, my dad makes all sorts of mistakes with my mom. He says mm -hmm. a lot of stupid things, and... She always forgives him, and she <laughs> makes mistakes, and and he forgives her. And right, but, but what if it's like my parents and they don't? Because <laughs> both my parents are like, re like really smart, obviously. Like does Professor Dad, and then your mom has her stuff with the ministry, so like they're both really smart. And I and they didn't figure it out. And Alex, just because someone is smart doesn't mean that they. are that they make the oh, right that's, choices. But that's true. People always tell me I'm super smart and I do things wrong all the time. Okay, so then that's not. So what? If, what's what's what? Uh, then how does it work? How does it not? Break? I don't think anyone really knows. Uh, uh. Alex, Maisie uh -huh. asked you out. She obviously right. likes you. What if she just made like a mistake though? And like just accidentally liked me and then she, what if she realizes the mistake and then doesn't? Or what if she finds somebody she likes better? Like there's lots of people who are better at things and they can you like talk even properly gone out on a and date stuff. Yet. I, know, I know, but I don't know. Okay. Alex, she uh -huh. likes you. Right. Uh-huh. She knows you, and she likes you. Yeah. It's not like you're kind going to surprise her. I kind of wish she was here right now. But then, I also kind of don't. Why? Well, I wish she was here because I would feel better and maybe she could hug me or something. Um, because she her hugs are really good. But then also, like, what if she's like, why are you, um, that, and not? Less that, or something. Maybe you should tell her that. What? No, because what if I give her the idea and she goes, "All oh, right, you're not." Why don't you tell her what happened? And then. Just now. Well, you can tell her that you were feeling upset and you thought about her, and that you wish that she was there. A hug. Um, is that a good thing or? I don't know, but it sounds like a good thing. See that? See, yes, yeah, see, see, see. I'm a little risk, risk, scared of risk. It sounds a little risky. I don't what know if, if you're gonna. Get away from any risk, Alex. That's a good point. Um, Alex, I, uh -huh. you... You ran to protect Maisie when she was in trouble. Uh-huh. You were brave. I couldn't go. I was too scared. Right. 
I did run. I fell. But maybe I just need more practice at running or something. Or not falling. And Macy's good at not falling. She goes in a brim, and it's harder to not fall in a brim than it is to stand on your well, maybe not fall she can help you. Yeah, but she already like helps me with so much, and then I'm just just like, what? It, is it fair? Like, what is fair? Well, like, well, I can feel this like with everyone. Is it fair? Like, because everyone's just like being awesome and making me feel happy, and and safe and Alex. and stuff, and and I'm just Alex. like making them do Alex. that. And I don't pay them. Alex, mm -hmm. look at me. Mm -hmm. Do I need to? Can I look at you with my eyes closed? I'm listening. I'm looking with my ears. Alex, look at me. It's hard to look at people. I'm your friend. Uh huh. You make me feel good. Uh huh. I like talking to you. And I get uh -huh. scared too sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. It's just really hard to... Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Make the rest of my brain. Mm. Remember that? Sometimes. Is it okay if I give you a hug? Yeah. Brian gives you a hug. <laughs> Thanks, Marnie. You're welcome. So I'm not going to be able to help you with Rosie, but... Babe... She, she, I mean... Be brave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. We can try together. Okay. Okay. Come on. We're going to class soon. Yeah. Let's go. That's a good place to end the episode today. Oh, my heart. Emotions. I've never had them before. What's happening to me? Ah, <laughs> uh, well done, well done. I know you had chat crying too. Oh man! They feel called out. How dare you? Ah, uh, we've got some end of session stuff to do. Let's play some happy music. Let's play some happy music to take us uh, into the end of session stuff. Um, we start off with traits. Does anybody feel like they've acted counter to any of their traits to the point where they feel like they need to change them or remove them or what have you? Okay, so we're going to leave the traits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to leave the traits as is. Um, and we're going to move on to relationships. Do you want to add a plus one or a minus one to a player character? Feel like you've grown closer or further away from? A plus one or a minus one to the relationship? 
I I think I'm gonna give all of it a negative one. <laughs> like, okay. I, I was like I was trying to like achieve something and I feel like I was like very much butted out. You know? Uh I'm gonna give Alex a negative one for the same reason. <laughs> All right. I, mean, I didn't butt you out. Come up with a real reason <laughs> instead of a retaliation against me. I mean, not that you know of. You didn't try to read between the lines on me. Yeah. How do I you can't. Know? It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> what is that As a person who did try to do that today, it is impossible. I. It is. I tried. You can't do it. The vehemence with, the, with that statement was so intense. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm giving a plus one to Olive um, for volunteering as tribute to let me hit her with magic spells that I'm going to be terrible at. And for packing the salad list. I got you. Very thoughtful. Uh, and I'm going to give Olive my plus one as well for our sweet little interaction in class. Mwah. Emotional. Okay. Relationships all done. Let's do our class school rolls, please. Everybody roll your mind. And if you have any bonuses from anything, make sure to add those on. Rosie's going to start us off with a nine for Hufflepuff. You're welcome. I will do the other two Hufflepuff rolls. We'll say this is Hyacinth and Rain. Hyacinth with a six. Not shocked at all. <laughs> she farted when she made the roll. Yeah. And an eight from Rain. Keeping you at 50 points. Okay. Next up, we have the Gryffindors. Uh, Clem and Olive with five points each for Gryffindor. Do the last roll here. That's a five. Sorry. And let's see. Alexander with a 10 for Ravenclaw. It's Ravenclaw, 10 points. Oof. Three for me. Sorry. And an eight. Okay. Keeps you at 80. And Slytherins. We have Cornelia and Lillian with 15 points for Slytherin. One more for me. Another eight for Slytherin. Putting Slytherin into second place 100 points uh gryffindor with 110 slytherin with 100 ravenclaw with 80 and hufflepuff with 50. sorry i'm hufflepuff. regretting i'm regretting having lillian be so good at this <laughs> <laughs> um sorry hufflepuffs sorry it hasn't been going so well so far but don't worry we have quidditch coming eventually maybe you could get lucky with some quidditch you never know those are some big points um, but let's go around the room. Let's do our shout outs and our downtime moves. Let's start off with, uh, Murgles today. Okay. Interesting choice. Um, <laughs> I, hi, uh, I would like to. <laughs> I got her today. She was not yeah. paying attention. Listen, um, I would like to study. Uh, actually, no. I would like to practice spellcasting. I would like to practice, um, Protego. Okay. Go ahead and practice some spellcasting. Roll plus your magic. Oh, that's a 10. On a 10 plus, you get to temporarily add an additional spell to your spell bank for the next session at your current year. Oh, current year. Yep. So I can't do Protego. Sorry. The thing I practiced. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
Hi, I'm Murgles. Uh, I am an animator and a storyboard artist, and you can catch me on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and normally on my channel, I'm animating a film from scratch. Uh, just a full, full film. It's like a five-minute animated, traditionally hand-drawn film. So if you're interested in how animation gets made, you can come check me out. However, I will warn you, right now I'm playing Mass Effect. <laughs> and I am, I am just, I'm in Mass Effect. So if you're also interested in watching Mass Effect, everyone's playing Mass Effect right now but that's it's because it's awesome so watch it 80 more times thank you thanks thank you Mergles. <laughs> nega oryx why don't you go next okay hi hello uh i'm nega oryx i was playing olive today and for my end of session move i'm gonna I'm going to try what I tried last week. I'm mixing it up. I'm going to try social activities. And I would just like to say I rolled a heart roll earlier that was a complete success. It was an 11. And social activities is a heart roll. I'm just feeling good about this. I feel like for once I might not fail. Hey, that's yellow. That's not red. Look at that. I Whoa. knew. I said I was feeling it. I knew I was feeling it today. Yeah, plus um, two in heart today. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, hi. I'm I'm so shocked that that actually worked that I forgot what I'm supposed to do at this point. <laughs> you get you get um, a plus one or a minus one to a relationship. That's it. Thank you. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a PC, right? It does not. Not for social activities. No. Okay. Cool. So that's gonna go to one Smashly Smindigo. Uh, hello! I was playing Olive today, I know her name, and, uh, I'm a full-time streamer, and, uh, Luxie looked so mad at me for a minute there. I don't know oh, what no, I did. No, no, I love <laughs> Ashley Blendigo. I'm on a mission this season, okay? I'm a double agent. Uh, I'm a streamer. I'm a voice actor. I'm doing stuff. I'm hosting things soon. I'm doing a lot of stuff for Pride Month next month. Uh, I have a really cool surprise coming for that. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, and thank you for having me. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Zagonicus. Hi. I'm Zgodicus. I played Zgodicus. I mean, Alex. Ha 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 for you today. <laughs> um, but my downtime move, uh, social activities. I'm going to practice those because those might come in useful. <laughs> okay. Come on, good rules. Seven. You get to do the same. Plus one or a minus one to your relationship. Okay. Um, ha, ha, I'm going to give uh, Maisie a plus one. Because <laughs> that made help me. I'm looking for help. <sighs> um, hi, everyone. I'm Zgodicus. <laughs> you can find me Zgodicus and on all the internet places. Um, there's been some people who have said that uh, the way I present Alex or the way Alex expresses himself or the character of Alex is... Uh, been uh, really nice for them and uh they've related to some of the stuff and all the rest of it so uh thank you for giving me the, that opportunity um uh thank you i'm i'm honored i think is the word that i want to use um you can find me zgodicus everywhere but you'll be able to find me here on table story extra starting june 6 for uh an awesome time that you should definitely tune in for with a bunch of awesome people. Um, so it's going to be a very different character. I can't wait. I'm so excited. That show's going to be nuts. It's not going to be family friendly <laughs> at all. So family friendly only folks, um, uh, you'll have to pass on that one. But the rest of you, you should definitely check it out. Uh, June 6th here on Table Story. So make sure you check it out. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Last but not least, a heartfelt congratulations to Luxie Ooh. because she's, she's now... She's gay. <laughs> she's Mrs. Luxie. 
thought you were going to say Mrs. Mrs. K. Gay. Mrs. K, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that comes with a sash and everything. I don't know what you're talking about, Wack. I don't know. Yay. idea what you could mean. Hey, what's up? Ugh, I'm married. Um, I'm doing things. I think... Can I make the bark potion? Is that something I can do in my downtime move? Absolutely. Wow. Cool. I will have to find out how much that costs, but I'm sure my 69 galleons will cover it. Nice. Um... Oh, I have a perfect bark potion. Wow, 13. Okay, yes, you can write down perfect bark potion. Nice. Um... Cool. Hey, what's up? My name is Lexi Games. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. My streaming is not so variety and not so normal right now because I've been, I don't know how to tell you all this, but I've been a little busy. Walked out into a field and now I'm legally bound to another human being. Isn't life crazy? Um, playing The Sims, playing a Guy Fieri challenge. I'm also going to be doing a subathon on Saturday. Just me and you know that. And I'm going to be playing the new Subnautica. So if you want to see me poop my pants on stream, for subs. I would appreciate that. Uh, actually won't. Please don't watch. Uh, and that's all. Thank you for having me. Wait, actually, there was a point when we first started the season that I was like, this is going to go on forever. Who knows where we'll be when we ended up. I'm married now. So <laughs> crossing some big stuff off that list. Yeah. Oh, Anyways, yeah. done now. Uh, I did let the Just cast know, by the way, uh, but last episode uh, officially made this the longest running table story show. So I need to give my wonderful cast my heartfelt thanks. Uh, for, You're welcome. For um, being fantastic. <laughs> God, and ruining things at the best times. Our specialty. <laughs> yes. Um, thank you so much, and thank you, chat, for um, for supporting us and being here. Um, I am Wax Steven. I've been your headmaster of Doom. I dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you so much for the love and the support, chat. Thank you. Um, thank you to my wonderful role players. Thank you, Luxie. Thank you, Murgles. Thank you, Negs. Thank you, Zagonicus, uh, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Colo, we missed you this week, but Colo's taking a week off, so... Much love to Colo, and uh, thank you for the gift subs. Um, and um, thank you, uh, thank you so much, um, everybody for being here every week. We really appreciate it. Um, and uh, we got a lot of stuff going on on Table Story. We got a new show uh, starting on June sixth called uh, Ungodly. Uh, Zagonicus is going to be on it, as he mentioned. Um, it's going to be a very different show than this. That is definitely not family friendly. Um, so if you like, uh, if you saw the trailer and you liked the vibe that it gave off, then you should definitely check it out. Uh, PB has been working on it for a very long time. Uh, super excited. And that's starting on June 6th. Um, uh, we've also got a show called Midsummer Mysteries that's going on. That's another mini series, um, that Murgles is on on Saturdays. Uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern. suck if it wasn't just Mergles on that show. Yes. Yes, it would. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, just Wait, say what? Wait, me next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but Luxie has made a guest appearance. Will we see more of, of Luxie on the show? Who knows? Who if knows? you beg. You have to beg. Perhaps. Oh, I'll do it. Perhaps. <laughs> No reservations. <laughs> this isn't a DM. Uh, so uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, and hopefully we'll see you uh, on Thursday for uh, Mist Light. Um, normally I do a design stream on Wednesdays, but I'm actually recording the Ready to Roll podcast uh, tomorrow. That was the time that we can make it work. So I'm going to do my design stream on Thursday instead. Um, so I'm going to do that uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, and I'll raid into Miss Light. Uh, thank you so much for being here, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Peace out. Good night. Bye-bye.